Hey everybody, it's Chris and Eric here. About to play some Dead Nation, Road of Devastation. Road to Devastation. Yeah, this is the new add-on for uh, Dead Nation. Came out last week. It's four dollars on the U.S. store, and it's a little bit different from the normal Dead Nation gameplay. You're not so much doing story missions as it's sort of like an arcade score attack sort of uh, deal. Duration. All right, I'm good to go. So, uh, let's get into this. Yeah. So basically you have three paths you can choose from. You can go uh, for armor and points, for money and uh, health, or uh, weapons and uh, tools, I guess. Grenades. Supplies. Guns and supplies. Yeah. We'll go and do some points first, because there's some cool stuff we want to show you over there. So basically the game is still pretty much unchanged from what it was like before. You still have your power shot, um, you can still run dash, and, uh, wow, get out of my face, zombie. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, you can still, uh, dash and do your, uh, melee attacks. But now everything is, uh, based on, like, uh, the number of zombies you kill, as you'll see towards when we get to the end of the mission. That little, uh, timer at the, yeah, the little timer at the top. That's how many zombies we kill a minute, in a minute, or something like that. For a minute, yeah. yeah, and that if you can get up to there's different rewards based on how many you do. You can get up to 100. Oh shit! There's also some new zombie type. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be really hard unless you're in the later levels. I think when they add more zombies. So everything ramps up after you uh, complete a, a run through the the road you pick. And more shooting. All right, you got that one right. Yeah. And let's get some, uh, let's get some points. Oh shit, more zombies. Fuck your light. Ugh. So yeah, there's these new trees that you could, they've added to some of the, the paths and you can destroy them with your melee. When we do the money run, you'll see there's a, like a whole area that's just trees. And you're yeah, just... there's usually um, stuff hidden, like uh, loot hidden behind them, like right here, the store thing. Yeah. Alright. Should we go down? Or should we just run through it? Run through it. Alright, let's go up. Oh! Alright. There's also these like uh, test chamber sort of things that you get. There's like nine of them hidden throughout all the roads. I think you get a trophy once you find them all. They're much like yeah. the armor boxes from uh, the single player gameplay. Should we go across the bridge first? Uh, yeah, sure. Or do you want to go up? Oh, oh, oh yeah, so they changed the uh, the screamer a little bit. As you can tell, the guy's now spawning out of the ground. And uh, his character model is a little different, right? I say his, but it, the zombies. It's got a lot of these new little fingers or whatever the hell they are on it. There, you can sort of yeah, see it. Yeah, there you yeah. go. Alright, cool. <laughs> yeah, now it looks like I see an enemy or something now. There's another one. Yeah, I like the new animation for the guys popping out of the ground. It's pretty cool. Why am I not using my SMG? Alright, let's head up. So you can see we're at 19 uh, zombies a minute killed right now. If we get to 20, we'll unlock another... Uh, box There's, at the uh, end of it. End of level yeah, boxes. like boxes based on the number. There's like one for 10, one for 20, one for 40, one for 80. And there's different loot inside of them based on your uh, level of uh, number of zombies killed per minute. And everything is stays the same throughout each of your runs, so your money doesn't your money will carry over, so it's good to get a lot of zombies killed per minute so you can get more money. Yeah. They also like to change things up, it seems, uh, whenever you're playing this on different run-throughs, because when we were playing it at a different time, uh, there were all these chambers dropping with uh, different zombie types in them, like the big cutter guys with the scissor hands, or the sword hands, mm -hmm. and we haven't seen any of those in this run, so. They like, they ramp things up, yeah, zombies. So I guess it's uh, randomly generated. Either that or just zombie, they, they change it up based on what run-through you're on, like, uh, 
The zombies also gain different uh, attributes based on what number of run it is. Like, they'll gain more health or more... Wow, they just ran right into that. <laughs> yeah, wow. All right. <laughs> so yeah, at the end of every one of these, there's a huge, like, uh, chamber where you have to kill everything. Like a little death box. All right, we got some big dude. There's a big guy. Yeah. Oh! 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 Wow! Was not ready for that. Hit the hit the button. Oh shit! Yeah, I'm going up. Oh! Get over. All right, cool. Oh shit! Oh! Wow! Alright, no, wait, wait, alright. All right. Uh, that was dumb. <laughs> yeah. I still have a bunch of flares though, so. Flare. Oh, I had a bunch. I used them all, I guess. There's also uh, streaks for killing lots of zombies, I think, if you get up to. We had like, what, 80 last game or something ridiculous like that? It's like some monsters oh, kill. Bad. Yeah. No. Alright, so here's the boxes we were talking about at the end. So we're at 26 right now, so we'll get two of the boxes. You get to take the 20, it's probably gonna... Oh, no, never mind. That one always has the health pack. That one always has money. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sounds good. All right, so at the end of our round, are we faint, I guess? I'm not going to spoil what this actually is. You'll notice if you beat the game. But, uh... It's pretty cool. Cool way to tie it into the story of the game. I don't have enough money for anything. Buy some um, flares, I guess. Some yeah, some GMO will probably be good to buy. I remember last time we did one of these, I, I bought the shotgun and forgot to fucking get ammo for it halfway through. Uh, Alright, we'll go do uh, one more run. Enemies evolve! Yeah, so there's what I was talking about. The enemies, the zombies now have uh, more health. Let's get some money. Alright, this area has a lot of the trees that we were talking about before. Give me my rifle. There's also some, some new uh, weapon upgrades, sort of. You can get a laser sight on the SMG now, which is new, I'm pretty sure. I don't remember that from the first game. Shit. These are new enemies here, the plant zombies. Plant zombies. Plants versus zombies. Suck it. Oh. Alright. Let's go in here because we can show one of those uh, chamber things. Yeah. So those are much like the, am the armor boxes. Except they don't give armor now. Oh, man. Die. So, yeah. Oh, hey. Oh, money. So do you want to do money route or do you want to do health? We've never done the health one. Should we hit check that one out? Yeah, let's try it out. Alright, cool. You got that. Alright. So yeah, apparently the guys over at Housemark, uh, they did, they took all the time since the game has been launched to work on this mode. So it's like something like over eight, eight months or something like that, yeah. And they, they totally funded this on their own based on like the stuff the the money they made on the original donation. And now they're since they came out for free, thanks to the hackers, uh, like when everybody got free PSN games and stuff, this is one of them. So it's, they've had over like four three million downloads of the game. So there are a lot of players for this game now, which is pretty cool. They're still supporting it a year almost after launch. Did you need help? Aw, oh, fuck, I shot it. No, I'm good. Oh, man. Why is there nothing over there? Oh. What is that to the left? Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Oh, there's a machine. Oh, like a vending machine. Can we do anything? Okay, there we go. Open sesame. 
Oh. Whoa, what the hell? Oh shit. Having a player. Alright, I solved two, so we're good. Alright, now it opens. Yeah, that was... You you wanna get the the machine or Yeah. I'll take the oh that wasn't a Oh, is what? that? Oh, that's all this was. Okay. Oh boy. I then. What'd you get? It's a medikit. You got one too. Oh, yeah, nice. I didn't even see that. They didn't have that in the original game, did they? I don't. I do not remember. They might have. It's been a while since I played Dead Nation. That's pretty cool. I like that. Uh, I'm good. Plants versus zombies. And then we're both good. Just save it in case something happens. Alright, this is the kill room, I think. See this chamber down here. If one of us dies, we'll respawn in it. Whoa, those things again. I hated those things. The acid spitters. Oh boy, yeah. I think so. Oh. Yeah. That's it. Oh, we lost the 40. Damn. So, yeah. This is uh, Road Devastation. It's out now. $4. If you like score attack, it's kind of cool. Uh, I'll probably be putting up another video later and link to just straight gameplay without us talking over it, so you can check that out as well. Uh, I'm not sure if we're going to be doing a review, probably be some impressions up on the site, but so yeah, let's check it out. See you guys later.